Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made the main bass in mine and Dyadic's song called Fuel Up. If you haven't heard it, this is what it sounds like. So if you're wondering what bass I'm talking about, it's going to be this one right here, the main lead bass, and I'll play it for you if you need a refresher. And when isolated, sounds like this. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and open up a fresh instance of Serum. And we're going to instantly go to Analog, Basic Shapes for Oscillator A. And then for Oscillator B, we're also going to do Analog, Basic Shapes. And we're going to keep Oscillator's B waveform to a sine wave. And for the waveform of oscillator A, we're going to change that to a square. And then we're going to go to the octave of oscillator A and drop that down by two. And then the semitone tuning on oscillator B will go up one. And the fine tuning will go up by 43. Then we're going to turn on FM from B on oscillator A and sync no window on oscillator B and turn the sync all the way up to 100%. Up next, we're going to go to LFO1, and we're going to create a very steep curve, just like this. Something similar to this will do just fine. Then you're going to apply that LFO1 to Oscillator B's sync, and then you're going to turn it down by 49%, and you're going to turn the level of Oscillator B all the way down. Then you're going to take the same LFO and apply it to Oscillator A's FM, and you're going to turn that to 37%. And one thing I forgot to mention is you're going to turn the LFO1 to envelope mode. Messing with the FM amount on oscillator A will definitely affect the character of this sound. I chose 37 because that was my favorite, but you can definitely experiment and find your own favorite percentage. By now you should have something that sounds like this. Next up you're going to go to the sub oscillator and you're going to keep it on regular sine wave. Drop that down by two octaves and apply the LFO1 to the level. Turn it all the way down and make sure the LFO is modulating the level all the way up to 100%. Up next, we're going to go to the filter and we're going to turn on key tracking mode. And we're going to choose a flange comb plus. And after you have that selected, you're going to turn the resonance all the way up to 100% and the cutoff to 670. And the mix to about 28%. Then you're going to go to LFO2 and create a small triangle form just like this. And you're going to apply that to the coarse pitch of oscillator B and make sure that's only modulating up by one. Then we're going to go to the effects tab. And the first thing we have is a hyper dimension with the rate up to 57%, the detune to 100%, the unison up by seven, and the mix to 18%, and the size to zero, and the mix to 6%. Then we have a flanger with the rate to 1.12 hertz, depth to 100, speed to 50, phase to 180 degrees, and the mix up to 39%. Then we have a phaser with the rate to 0.0 hertz, the depth to 50%, the frequency to 252 hertz, the feed to 80%, the phase to 180 degrees, and the mix to 79%. Then up next, we have the all passes filter on the filter tab, and we have that cut off all the way up to 100%, the resonance to 70%, the drive to 70%, the dampness to 19%, pan centered 50%, and the mix all the way up to 100. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to LFO1 and you're going to attach it to the cutoff and turn it to minus 59%. Up next is the compressor, which we have the multiband enabled, the threshold to minus 12.7 decibels, ratio 4.1, attack 90 milliseconds, release 90 milliseconds, and the gain left at 0.0, .0 dB, and the mix all the way up. Up next, we have the EQ tab with the frequency all the way down to 0% on the first notch, the Q up to 62%, and the gain stuck at 0.0, .0 decibels. For the second notch, we have the EQ all the way up to 100%, the Q to 32%, and the gain up by 10.9 decibels. 
Then you're going to want to apply the LFO 1 to the frequency of notch 1, and you're going to turn that up by 32. And you're also going to attach the same LFO to the frequency of notch 2, and you're going to turn that down by 39. And after you have all of the effects applied, it should sound something like this. Next up, we're going to show the post-processing of this bass, which is actually really simple. It's just a parametric EQ2 here, boosting a little bit of the 13,000 hertz range to give it some more brightness, and cutting off all the lows past 160 hertz. Then after that, we have two OTTs, all at the default values except for the depth at 31% and the downwards compression to 74%. And then you're just going to take that and you're going to clone it and paste it. It's just the same two OTTs right next to each other. And after that, you should have something that sounds like this. And that's how you make the main lead bass from my song Fuel Up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.